close encounters is starting off with a very friendly animal here. You can see they're all over us right now. And it's hilarious. These are lorikeets. I'm here with Samantha. Tell me about these very, very friendly birds who we did not coax into landing no. on us. They just showed up. We have 47 rainbow lorikeets here. There's about 21 subspecies, and we have two here at the zoo. Swainson's lorikeets and coconut lorikeets. All right, so why are they so friendly like this? They're really used to people. We, normally, the guests will come in with nectar, and the birds are, they love nectar. They're rewarded with that. They eat the nectar cups. Right now, they're just being curious. They're checking out our shirts, our hair. They're just overall pretty friendly birds. I think this one really likes my shirt. So what part of the world are they from? Australia. They're native to most of the continent. All right. So what kind of stuff do they eat? You said they Yeah, they nectar. eat a lot of nectar. It's their favorite. They'll eat pollen, fruit. They love grapes. They get a pellet mixture as well, apples, papaya, and even tomatoes. Oh, gotcha there. <laughs> um, so when folks want to come here, yeah. obviously, they're going to be dealing with a very friendly animal. Oh, yes. <laughs> Most of our birds are actually hand-raised, uh, too, as well. They're, we breed on exhibit, and when they're about 30 days old, we actually finish them off. So they're a little bit more friendly, um, and so they're more acclimated to people as well. So definitely one of the most interactive yeah. exhibits you can get as they continue to land on my head, <laughs> on my shoulder. They're all around. They can nibble at you a yes, little bit. Yes, they do, but, yeah. And they're a little loud. That yes. cuts in my ear a little bit. But overall, very friendly yeah. creatures for yeah. you to come check out here at Riverbank Zoo, so come on down and meet some lorikeets. They're very friendly.